Hey, son, he. Hear you, son. Came here for a drink, did you? They say booze is the best medicine. <laughs> I don't need to hear your excuses. What you drink is none of my business, after all. I won't comment. Appreciate it. Mind if I sit here? Not at all. Ah, oh, still, I can hardly believe it. The Kazuma Kiryu comes wandering in and sits next to me for a drink. How surreal. It's not that big a deal. I'm just a middle-aged man with graying hair. But you, you're not just the head of the Komi Jewel. You took command of the Yokohama Liumang as well. And all your subordinates have entrusted you with their lives. It must be a heavy burden to bear. Huh. You flatter me. That was a burden I've abandoned. Oh yeah, right. That. About 20 years ago, you retired right after becoming the fourth chairman of the Tojo clan. Had you not, I wonder if the Tojo clan would have turned out any differently. Hmm, who can say? But the Tojo clan would have disbanded regardless. The times have changed. And I doubt I'd be able to do a single thing about it. Not by myself. If anything, were I still at the top, the Tojo clan might have disbanded much sooner. I didn't have it in me to lead. Do you really think so? Because the way I see it, you just dislike being part of the herd. <laughs> you don't mince words, do you? Oh, I meant no disrespect. It's fine. I wasn't offended. It was actually quite refreshing. Only the head of an organization could speak so bluntly. So long as the underworld abides by its own laws, being the head doesn't mean much. And if someone gets any bright ideas, then all I have to do is stare them down. That's basically everything in the job description. Easy, right? I'm sure it must be easy for you. You're something else. Thanks to you, Ijinja's still standing even after facing pressure from Ryo Aoki. Wow, you really think so? Uh, um, <clears throat> I'm, I'm honored, but flattery won't get you anywhere. I'm not one to pay lip service. I'm completely serious. So, does that mean I'm doing all right? At least in your eyes? Yeah, for what it's worth, I think you're doing just fine. You good on time? Oh, there's no way I'm calling it quits when you're still drinking, Kiru-san. I'll hang on for as long as I can. Do you always go this hard? Your subordinates must have a tough time keeping up. <laughs> Power harassment is a prominent concern in the underground these days. I never force a subordinate to drink. I won't deny that there's merit in ruling by fear, but you won't last for long with that alone. That all makes sense. It's becoming more and more apparent that you're a natural-born leader. That reminds me, does Komijul still monitor the whole town? All the information you've extracted is the source of Komijul's power, am I right? Right, but it's not like I keep track of every little detail. One of my rules is that my confidant only brings me crucial information. And by confidant, you mean Jungi Han? Of course. He's a very capable man and one of unwavering loyalty at that. I'd say he's the perfect right-hand man, if only he weren't so snarky. <laughs> but there are others I consider my confidants. Some are even from my father's generation. Hmm, your father's generation, huh? Must be close to my age then. You're right. The elders of the organization are like my great and wise uncles. Every now and then, I'll get an earful from them. So even you have something you're afraid of. They were part of the Jingon Mafia before Komi Jewel. Back in their prime, they had a healthy rivalry with the Tojo clan. Probably a little before you made a name for yourself. I've heard a lot about your heroics, so having someone like you sit right next to me is sort of unnerving. What was that? Oh, um, it's nothing. Forget I said anything. The former Jingon Mafia. I hope they don't disapprove of you siding with me. 
Well, I'm not sure myself how they feel about all this, but even if they do disapprove, I can take care of it. I wouldn't worry about those old gents. After all, what I say goes. <sighs> Please don't take any risks from me. As a leader of an organization, you should always take your subordinates' concerns into account. <laughs> Seriously, though, I'll be all right. Have a little more faith in my leadership skills. All right. Thanks, Sunhee. Glad to have you on my side. Ijincho has been a little too quiet lately. I was honestly hoping for some excitement. Now, with you in town, things are bound to get interesting. Hold on. Are you expecting something dangerous to happen? Not necessarily. A toast, Kiryu-san? Let me welcome you to my town once more. Of course. Welcome to Ijincho, Kazuma Kiryu. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. <laughs> Looks like someone's enjoying herself. Oh, was that the impression you got? It was indeed. Well, just between you and me, I was a nervous wreck. I mean, he's the dragon of Dojima. A living, breathing legend, leagues above me in the underworld. I can't afford to look stupid in front of Kiryu-san, especially as a representative of Ijincho. <gasps> Did I say anything weird to him? Not as far as I know. All right. I won't dwell on it if you say so. <laughs> and I do say so. Imagine me drinking with the Kazuma Kiryu. Just the two of us. Guess I'm not doing too bad. <laughs> You don't like showing any sort of weakness, do you? The fact that you've managed to shoulder such a heavy burden while keeping your cool is quite impressive, honestly. <laughs> People tell me that all the time, but it's really not that hard. I enjoy what I do and the position I hold. Of course, it was challenging at the start, but I didn't need any training to learn a thing or two about leadership. You were the right person for the job. Both the Komi Jewel and the Liu Mang are lucky to have you as their leader. <laughs> I'm honored you think so. You're so dignified. I'm not worthy of your presence. Hey, are you mocking me? You better watch out. I've got some muscle too. Care to see? <laughs> Another time, perhaps. I haven't had enough to drink yet. I'll meet with your elders and speak to them if need be. I wouldn't want you to get in any trouble. Shoo. <laughs> Please don't. That would actually be a bit embarrassing. Let me handle any problems that crop up while you're in town. After all, you are my special guest. All right. Thanks, Sunhi. Glad to have you on my side. I guess I really can count on you for anything. I'll let you handle it then. <laughs> Perfect. That's all I ask for. Feel free to rely on me anytime. Nothing would bring me greater joy. All right. Thanks, Sunhi. Glad to have you on my side. Hey, Sunhi. Is this seat open? Huh? Oh, uh, yeah, of course. As you can see. Something the matter? You look a little down. Oh, pff, don't mind me. It's nothing you need to be concerned about, Kiryu-san. All right. I'll just wait until you feel like talking about the thing I shouldn't be concerned about. Don't mind me. <sighs> so that's how we're doing this? There's no winning with you, is there? I see. So your officers, these great and wise uncles of yours, we're acting suspiciously whenever you're not looking. Yeah, basically. A lot of people in Komi Jewel, the younger members in particular, 
have been complaining to me, saying they don't know what to do. The elders put up a front when I'm around, but when something goes sideways, they take it out on their younger subordinates. It's unbelievable. If they have a problem with how I run things, then they should say it to my face. It's hard, having to deal with subordinates who are older than you or who may even have more experience. Seems like the Queen of Komijul has some troubles of her own. It, it, it's a minor issue, and a personal one at that. It's really nothing you should be concerned about. Those officers are around my age, aren't they? I could lend you a hand if you need it. Oh, no, 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 please don't. <laughs> I am not saying another word so I can at least preserve what's left of my people's dignity. Hey now, we should help each other in times of need. Maybe there's something I could do about your elders. Maybe. But again, this is my problem. I appreciate the concern, though. Not only are you my guest, but you know, you're also sick. You should put your health first and foremost. Mm, went straight for the jugular there. There once were three organizations that kept a close eye on this town. Komi Jewel, the Leo Mong, and the Seiryu clan. While it may have looked like a three-way power struggle on the surface, it was actually intended to prevent outside forces from entering. Compared to the past, Ijincho seems a bit too relaxed nowadays. I suppose as a side effect of the ongoing peace. There's not much I can do about that, but my reputation would take a major hit if you're caught worrying. Yeah, I hear you. Guess that means there's nothing more I can say. I, uh, maybe the alcohol's getting to me. Sorry, I didn't mean to come off so persistent. Don't worry about it. <sighs> Perhaps I'm in no position to say this, but... Hmm? I prefer how Eugene Show is now over how it was before. Even the Comey Jewel Bunch has become quite social these days. <laughs> yeah, I guess they have. <laughs> yeah, I hear they actually started saying hi to people on the streets. I mean, some of them, of course, not all. Komijul used to have this image of being a secret organization that was always out of sight. Without any rivals around, like the Tojo clan or the Omi alliance, they're probably enjoying the peace while it lasts. <laughs> I see. Oh, thanks for that, Barkeep. I prefer Ijincho the way it is now, too. Actually, that reminds me. An old regular from Komi Jewel gave me this. What is it? A mask worn by members of our organization. It's modeled after the ones used in traditional Korean performances. We would hide behind a mask whenever we had to get our hands dirty. Right. But the owner of this mask said it's been a long time since he's had to wear it. Eventually, he amicably cut ties with the organization, got married, settled down in this town. He left this mask at the bar, saying he was turning over a new leaf. Looks like Komiju is going through some changes. Still, he shouldn't have given this mask away, much less to an outsider. Maybe I should tighten up operations. Could you let this one slide? That would be a welcome wedding gift for your subordinate. Huh. <laughs> well, if you so insist, then I can make an exception this time. Spending time with you takes priority anyway. <laughs> Good to hear. I was worried he'd land in trouble just because I snitched. Hmm. <laughs> These drinks taste even better when I'm with you, Kiryu-san. I was thinking the same thing. I'm supposed to be dead, so... I never thought I'd be able to enjoy a drink like this again. That's why I'm savoring every glass. Because I have a friend to drink with. A friend? You consider me your friend? Of course. Unless that's a problem. Uh, oh, not at all. I'm honored. You've been nothing but hospitable to me ever since I first stepped foot in this town. It's high time I repay your kindness. Well, unfortunately, this host doesn't accept any form of payment from her guests. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm doing this because I want to. 
We're on the same team now, so there's no need to go about things alone. Just how long are you going to treat me as a guest? Uh, well, for as long as I'm the face of this town. But I'm happy you consider us allies. Oh, happy is an understatement. I am over the damn moon right now. Hmm? What was that? I didn't catch that last bit. Oh, nothing. I was just saying that it's the thought that counts. <laughs> it's the boss's job to keep a tight leash on things. I won't comment on whatever you have to do. <laughs> no need to be so serious. I was just kidding. We ended things on a peaceful note. If I started harassing him now, it just hurt my credibility. Oh, good. For a second, I thought we'd all end up in trouble just because the bartender snitched. Yeah, same here. Maybe you should loosen up a bit, Sunhi. The way you carry yourself sometimes makes you appear real intimidating. Huh. Some would say that's one of my good points, though. Better to look tough so your subordinates know who's in charge. Jungi Han thinks so, too. But, uh... What say you, Kiryu-san? Well, your subordinates probably appreciate the fact that you're easy to read. I... <laughs> I... I see. You think so, too. Hey, son he Mind if I join you? Of course I don't mind, but... How's your health, Kiryu-san? Just fine. I am limiting my intake, believe it or not. <laughs> Thanks for the concern, though. Is it really alright for you to spend so much time with us? Will your subordinates manage without you there? I'm sure they'll be okay. There are hardly any issues that require my input. If they need me to get involved, then they know how to reach me. So there's no need to worry about me, Kiryu-san. Your phone's ringing. So it is. Just ignore it. I'm enjoying our time together right now. Uh, but, uh... See? Now, if it's really important, they'll call again right away. You gonna answer that? <sighs> Nothing could possibly be more important than enjoying a drink with you, Kiryu-san. I appreciate the thought, but now I'm a bit on edge here. <sighs> Well, now that that's over, we can finally drink in peace. Sunhee, if you get another call, I want you to answer it right away. Now it's got me curious. Fine. I don't mean to put off my work that much anyway. Ah, I suppose I have to take this then. Excuse me, Kiryu-san. Yeah, of course. What? This had better be important. <sighs> yeah, got it. Bye. Everything okay? what they want? All good. Don't worry. It's not a big deal. Just ran into a little bit of trouble. Your subordinates called you multiple times, but it turns out it's no big deal? Yeah, uh, apparently a fire broke out on Comey Jewel Turf. What? Don't get so worked up. It was just a minor fire, but I've been told it might have been deliberate. Some guys from the Liumang roaming the area, allegedly. The Liumang? But I thought they were under your command, same as Komi Jewel. Yeah, which is why I'm having them look into the matter. Again, no need to concern yourself with this. Well, that's enough of that. That sounds more important than having a drink. Don't worry about me. Go help your subordinates. Uh, but... I'm done here. If I drink any more, then I won't hear the end of it from Nanba. Go show your face, even for just a second. Your subordinates need you there more than I do here. Fine, fine. <sighs> Once you've made up your mind, you can be as stubborn as a mule. Guess we'll call it here. All right. And hey... We'll drink again sometime. As long as you're up for it, of course. There's nothing I'd love more. Well, see you. Mm, 
It's tough having to lead an entire organization. Daigo really had his work cut out for him. Sunny, don't you think you should call back? Even if I don't respond right away, my subordinates will take action. They've been trained to do so on a regular basis. If you're sure, I've got nothing to say to that. No need to be so considerate of me. I don't mind if you answer your phone when we're together. But that... that just seems so rude and disrespectful. Like I said, I really don't mind. Let's call it a night. I've had enough to drink. But you haven't had anything to drink. Wait, what's wrong, Kiryu-san? If this is about the fire, it's all right. Don't worry about it. This is one of those times when a leader ought to remain calm and dignified. Staying calm is one thing. Ignoring the situation is another. It was the Liu Meng who started this fire. Your allies. There is no point trying to look dignified in front of me. I think you actually care about what's happening on site right now. Well, that's not quite right. Don't mind me. I know you want to go. You're worried, right? After all, the ones who started the fire were the Liu Mang. If you get involved, then you'll be dousing the flames, preventing them from becoming even bigger trouble. Okay, you have a good point. I know. But still... Sun He, what happened with that small fire? The one where the Liu Mang set fire to Komijol turf. Oh, thanks for your concern, but I'd rather talk about literally anything else. There's some dissent within Ijincho, just something I have to deal with as a leader. Just nothing you should be worried about. No can do. You shouldn't have to shoulder that burden all by yourself. Why don't you lay it on me? You mentioned before, there aren't many people who can drink with you as equals. I did say that, but... Ugh, screw it. There really is no winning with you. Honestly, I didn't want to air out our dirty laundry in front of you. Hmm, so it was arson. But nobody saw who did it. Right. All we know right now is that the culprit was fully aware they were setting fire to Comey Jewel Turf. Don't you find that a little strange? Well, how so? If I remember correctly, your subordinate didn't hesitate to tell you that the Liu Mang was behind it. But how could they call them out without an eyewitness account? So you've noticed. Impressive. Ah, uh, long story short, the accusations against the Liu Mang are false. There's no evidence pointing to the perp, so it's all bullshit. But someone managed to escalate that BS to me without having to go through any filters. That's the real problem. What do you mean? I'm saying the lie originated within Comey Jewel, among the top brass at that. In other words, one of the Comey Jewel officers tried to deceive you with a false report. Precisely. He probably made his underlings start the fire, then spread the rumor that the Liu Meng was behind it. This act of betrayal only serves to escalate tension between Komijul and the Liu Mang. I can't turn a blind eye to it. You're right. One wrong move and it'll lead to an all-out war between the two of them. Truth is, some people aren't too happy to see Komijul and the Liu Mang getting along. By deepening the division and sowing discord, they'll be able to pin the blame on me for failing to take action. That's the traitor's end goal. He wants to chase me out and seize my throne to rule Comey Jewel himself. You managed to dig all that up? Then did you find out who the traitor is? I did, actually. He got sloppy when leaking the rumor. Turns out the traitor is the eldest of Comey Jewel's officers. His name is Han Chulsa. So, that's him there, huh? One of my great and wise uncles I've talked about before. At his age, he should be thinking about retirement. Guess he wanted to make a name for himself before going out. By betraying you, no less. If he's the oldest, then the two of you must go way back. 
I'm sorry to hear that. I understand why you didn't want to talk about it now. Yet I still opened up about everything from start to finish. <laughs> Just how do you do it, Kiryu-san? I only hope you feel a little better after talking about it. Ugh, this is such a mess. I really didn't want you to see me like this. I can't believe I just spilled everything to you. Was Han Chol's son uh, dissatisfied about something? I doubt he'd plan a coup for no reason. I can't think of anything. Except for the fact that I'm younger than him, and a woman. Considering he's a man who's faced countless adversities in battle, perhaps he doesn't want to end up under a leader like me. Most old men probably would think so. I've received the same report from different sources stating that Hanchul Sa is secretly rallying people to rebel. Saying crap like Sun He is capable for a woman, sure, but weak-willed, and other people are more suited to lead. So, he's been working the rumor mill. I can find out anything and everything that happens in Ijincho. Hanchul Sa won't be able to keep up with the information warfare. But people look up to him as a legend of the past. My generation grew up listening to stories of his heroics. He once fought to the death with the Tojo clan back in its heyday. I never thought he would ever become my enemy. A man too full of pride as a man stuck in time, unable to move on. Nothing more than a relic of the past. Huh. <laughs> yeah, that old man's far too reckless for his own good. Oh, but... He's older than you, Kiryu-san. Much older. You're not even in the same age group. You don't have to force yourself to say that. More importantly, what do you plan to do about him? As the head, it's up to you to decide how to deal with traitors. See, this is exactly why I didn't want to talk about this with you, Kiryu-san. Truth be told, I haven't made up my mind yet. It's a tough call to make given how complicated the situation is. A leader needs to be able to make snap decisions for the good of the organization. I just, I need time though. This is a difficult situation, but knowing you understand that is reassuring. Thank you, Kiryu-san. Sharing your suspicions with someone else does help clear things up. Yeah, it certainly seems so. I'm sure you have other things to do, though. Your own problems are even more pressing than mine. I don't want to cause you any trouble, so... So? Can we just drink and talk about something stupid now? Sure. What better way is there to booze? <laughs> you really do get me. Always have. That's infuriating. I'm getting pissed just listening to all this. <laughs> Sounds like you're angry enough for the both of us. Thanks. I appreciate it. I only said what was on my mind. You should talk it out first and try to reach a peaceful compromise. If there's conflict between officers, things could get out of hand. Unfortunately, I can't have them thinking I'm some pushover. I appreciate the advice, but now's not the time for talking. A leader shouldn't let their emotions influence them. Betrayal must be punished, or else the organization will crumble. Of course, you make a good point, but I'd rather not get any more personnel involved. I've been making plans with that in mind. Take your time to think it over. I'll think of something, too. Look, I'd appreciate the help. If only we could have talked about something sexier instead. <laughs> True. Dealing with a traitor is not a very sexy topic. Got it. Thanks for the report. I'll be there soon. You guys have to stand down. We won't come out of this unscathed. Considering we're up against Hanchul Sa. 
What's going on? You were just on the phone with a subordinate, right? <laughs> Sorry, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Anyway, um, I just finished my drink, so I'll be leaving now. Wait, Sunhe. It sounded like you don't have enough hands on deck. Psh, I'm the queen of Comey Jewel. I always have enough hands. Suzuki-san, it's rare for you to be stood up. I doubt I even had a chance. Do you happen to know anything about what Sunhee is dealing with right now? As much as it pains me to snitch, it seems that a hostile faction in Komi Jewel started an insurrection. An insurrection? About ten of them, all led by Han Chiol Se, have been attacking one Liu Mong shop after another. It's likely they're aiming to start a war as quickly as they can to try and overthrow Sun He San. <sighs> Things have already escalated that far. As the queen, she needs to bring Komi Jewel under control herself before the Liu Mong retaliates. Which Liu Mong spots are they hitting up? Do you know where they are? I take it you intend on helping her? Of course. I understand how you feel. But you ought to know that Sun He San can't accept an outsider's help. Unless she demonstrates authority and resolves this situation herself, the same thing will keep happening. Please, time is of the essence. There is no way I could relax and knock back some drinks after hearing all that. That's not the only problem, by the way. I've noticed she's been trying to act tougher than usual whenever she's around you. My guess is that she wants to look more put together in front of her hero. You should be more considerate. Take her feelings into account. Now is not the time for that. Oh, right. I do have something that could come in handy. <clears throat> Wear this, and you'll look like any other Komi Jewel. Sun He San won't even bat an eye. That's genius. I owe you one, bartender. Enough, Hanshul, sir. I have always thought of you as a hero. Why would you do this? <laughs> That's right. I am a hero. But should a hero be forced to spend the rest of his life under the thumb of a little girl? Only a man of brute force, undeterred by bloodshed, can rule the underworld. Not a woman like you. I'm taking what is rightfully mine. Hmm. So that's Hancho, sir. Take a good look, Sunny. Don't your underlings make for a pathetic sight? They actually thought they stood a chance against me. Arrogant greenhorns. There's no soldier worth his salt within the present-day Komi Jewel. I've spent my days wreaking carnage during the Tojo Clan's prime. I will bring change to this pitiful organization of yours. <laughs> What's so funny? You, Hanshul Sa. <laughs> You've gone senile. Sounds like you're under the impression that you could beat me, if only by brute force. <laughs> of course I can. But I'll let this slide, as long as you get on your knees and surrender. Then swear to all of Ijincho that you're relinquishing your post as Komi Jewel's commander in chief. That's all? Anything else? Let's see. Ah, yes. Strip off your clothes when you kneel. <laughs> Imagine. The Queen of Komi Jewel surrendering while nude. Don't you know? The common man loves a good show. And you were never one who served to please. Huh. Good to hear. Huh? The proud warrior I once knew is dead to me now. And the lowly, boorish man I see here is nothing but a shell of his former self. Now I have no qualms meeting out punishment as your leader. Foolish girl. You only have a single underling left on your side. Give it up. You can't win. Shh, don't listen to him. I will win. Even if I have to fight alone. If you want to run, now's your chance. 
No, I cannot do that. Whatever you decide, I'll see it through to the end, Sunny. Huh. That voice. Don't pay me any mind. Hunchol Su is approaching. So please brace yourself for battle. Right. Look lively, men. It's time for a new era. Down with the queen! How could I, the Hunchol Su, have lost? Poor judgment, I'd say. That's just too bad. For you, I mean. Age has not been kind to you, hmm? Since you messed with the Liumong, I'll just hand you over to them so they can decide what to do with you. <laughs> Unfortunately, that means I can't guarantee your life. No, please! Wait, Sunny! I'm sorry. I was in the wrong. <laughs> In the Underworld, you can't play ignorant and expect to get away with it. You were the one who taught me that. Hey, you! Thanks for the help. You really saved me back there. I didn't know we had someone like you in our organization. It's an honor to be of service to the Queen. Why don't you take off your mask? My apologies, but it is more imperative to tend to the injured as soon as possible. Pardon me, ma'am, but I should go look for help. Fine. Go on ahead. Have you been drinking here ever since I left earlier? Kiryu-san, a long drinking session is no good for your health, you know? It's fine. I didn't drink that much. Then I guess I'll take this seat. So, did the bartender lend you that Comey Jewel mask? Sorry, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, looks like I made you worry quite a bit. But if that's how you want it, I'll play along. Right, bartender? You got involved too, didn't you? <laughs> I'm afraid I'm just as in the dark as you are. Sure, of course you are. God, neither of you open up about your past or your secrets very easily. You two are certainly veterans in that field. How about a drink, Sunhi? Just relax. Try not to give the bartender such a hard time. You two might be the only ones alive who'd treat me like a child. Then again, perhaps that's why I'm rather fond of this bar. To good friends and good drinks. Cheers. 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 So what happened to that one traitor in Comey Jewel? What was his name again? Ancholsa? You're still keeping up the act? Huh. Well, my lips are sealed. It's a Comey Jewel issue. Outsiders don't need to know. Okay, dealing with Kiryu-san is one thing, but why is the bartender smirking? That's poor customer service, you know. Look at her, giving us the cold shoulder. <laughs> yeah, she has a point. I won't fly in the service industry, bartender. <laughs> all right, all right, you two. To think I'd get to share a drink with a legend like you. What do you mean? You've had plenty of drinks before. This is different. Plus, a lot of things can change over time, especially relationships. For better or worse. So, Kiryu-san, where do you think we stand? Are you glad we met? Definitely. It goes without saying. You're both a great friend and someone I can trust. Take it from me, you don't meet many people like that. Certainly not often. I consider myself lucky. <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear that. But I'm almost sure it's not luck. Rather, it's just who you are. You're always putting others first, so it's only natural people want to do the same for you. Being a leader myself, it's nothing short of inspiring. In light of all that, I'm glad to have met you, Kiryu-san. 
Yeah, likewise. <laughs>